eaten by a cat. It's a Halloween Christmas. That it's is scary. really scary. The pooping log. Befana beauty. Hey guys. Hey guys. It's Jess and Seth. And we're back with another video. And what are we gonna do today? Today I'm gonna quiz Jessica about Christmas traditions around the world, according to the internet. Okay, around the world. Around the world. It's Yikes. Jess is a huge fan of Christmas and I'm gonna put that to the test. Yeah, I'm a huge fan, but I don't really know Christmas <laughs> traditions. But we're feeling all festive with our Christmas hats and Christmas sweater. So I think we're good to go. Then let's get right into it. The first question, Iceland and their traditions. Ooh. There is one tradition where people in Iceland do gift each other clothes. Clothes. Clothes to wear. Um, okay. And they do that in order to prevent a terrible fate from happening. So can you imagine mm. what fate that is? I mean, Iceland is pretty cold during winter, so... I gift you a sweater so you don't freeze to death during winter? But it has something to do with an animal. It has something to do with an animal. I know people in Iceland eat like deers and stuff, but I don't know okay. what it is. What is it? The people in Iceland are giving each other gifts such as clothes in order to prevent being eaten by a cat. By a giant cat. Eaten by a cat. By a giant cat. The so-called, I don't know how to pronounce this, Yule cat? Yule cat? If you don't want to be eaten on Christmas, you better gift someone clothes. Is this real? Is this cat real? It's a giant cat. So it's... Not real. Not real. <laughs> you never know if there's a giant cat out there in Iceland. <laughs> Next up, we have a myth. A tradition from the Ukraine. Ukraine. Yeah, the other Eastern side. Eastern Europe. <laughs> so they are decorating mm -hmm. their Christmas trees with some unusual stuff. Toilet paper. What are they using? <laughs> Toilet paper. <laughs> Toilet paper, no. <laughs> um. It's actually something that can be found in nature. Tree branches. Well, so they're Leaves. decorating a tree with tree branches. It has also something to do with another animal, and I know you don't like them. It has something to do with insects. Too. Oh, it's lizards! Different. Lizards are not insects. Oh. <laughs> do they put like dead insects on the trees? No. I have no idea. But that was close. They are decorating their Christmas trees with spooky spider webs. Ugh, oh, spider webs. Yeah, like cobwebs, um, artificial ones, not real oh, ones. You can okay. let a real spider get it on with a Christmas tree and spin it around if you're into that. <laughs> Apparently that goes back to a poor, poor widow um, who had nothing but a tree but couldn't decorate the tree and this, apparently the spiders in the house took pity on her and helped decorate the tree. Next up, we have a crazy Christmas tradition from Asia. From Asia, okay, not so crazy after all. It is super crazy. So in which Asian country do people go to Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC, on Christmas Eve to have the actual Christmas dinner? To KFC. Um, I know the Filipinos love their fried chicken, but they don't go to KFC. They have Jollibee for that. But could it be the Chinese, like from, from China, people from China? No. No? No, it's not the Chinese. It's actually the Japanese. The Japanese? Yeah, it's super strange. <laughs> but the Japanese don't even celebrate Christmas. They do apparently and it all goes back to like the 1970s where KFC opened shop in, in Japan and they had a commercial run there for Kentucky for Christmas. Okay. And since then it's a thing. Well, I don't mind some fried chicken for Christmas. Sure, why not? <laughs> 
So, Japan it is! <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, we get a next question. This one's about Christmas trees again. Okay. And according to the internet, this is a German slash American history. It's about a vegetable, and apparently, people hide it in their Christmas trees. And what kind of vegetable is it? An eggplant. It's a good guess, <laughs> but it's not an eggplant. A zucchini. It is also a good guess, but it's not a zucchini. It is actually a pickle. A pickle? A pickle. The story behind it is also actually somewhat interesting and weird because if you're the first to find this hidden gem mm -hmm. <laughs> and you eat it, the next day you will get a small present on top of the presents you already received. Cool! Maybe we should do that. Okay, I'm gonna hide a pickle in our Christmas tree please, after this. Please don't, because on the one hand side, it's just the two of us that you know where the pickle is, <laughs> while I don't. So if I don't find it, it will either stay rot. there in the, yeah, it's gonna stay there forever, or you find it immediately and I have to give you another present. So let's not do that. I think we will do that, yes. Next up, we have. Uh, custom a tradition from our friends from another island Ireland Ireland and it's a pretty straightforward question what do the people in Ireland put into their window on display so to say mm -hmm. overnight um figurines of Santa Claus or candles or... Which one do you think it is? Is it the Santa Claus one? Is it candles? I don't know. What would you put in a window? They probably put figurines of creepy Santa Claus. Close. So people get freaked out. It's a Halloween Christmas. Well, I wanted to say close because you've been close before, but now you've gone <laughs> terribly off. No, it has nothing to do with that. It's rather sweet. They just put a big red candle into the window mm -hmm. um, during the night. So when it's dark outside, so people can see there is a house and there is someone living Aww. in there. So if it's cold outside overnight, you can come in and it means you're welcome. Next up, I think you know this one. So Christmas traditions relating to shoes. The question is, who puts sweets in your shoes? I know this one. Yeah. Because it's a thing here as well, Nikolaus! It is Saint Nicholas, yes. So you put out your shoes next to a chimney, you put them out of the front door. Saint Nicholas comes by and puts sweets in your shoes. They put like nuts, um, apples, stuff like that into your shoes. Unless you've been naughty, if you've been naughty, you get a piece of coal. Relating to Saint Nicholas, mm -hmm. something about spooky horror. The question is, where do people dress up as animal-like demons and frighten little children? I mean, that's a mean thing to do over Christmas. I'm just gonna say maybe the Russians dress up spookily? <laughs> okay, and why would they do that? Um, because they want to teach the children a lesson. Because candy gifts do not come for free. I see. <laughs> <laughs> that is a logical explanation as any. Um, but no, it's actually our neighbors. It's the Austrians. The Austrians? The Austrians dress up as animal-like demons and scare children. And it has something to do with St. Nicholas because he's not coming alone. He usually has someone coming with him, which is in Germany Knecht Ruprecht. And in Austria, it come, he comes along with the so-called Krampus. Krampus. The Krampus. And he's the bad guy in the story. Okay. And while Saint Nicholas is the good guy, giving gifts to children who behaved well, well, these demons, the Krampus and the Knecht Ruprecht, they are there to punish the bad children. Oh, that's scary. That Do they scary. actually wear this? Yeah, and it's a full body suit and oh. they're running around with like uh, torches and, and flame and everything. It's a big thing. That it's, is it's really scary. scary. The next question I have is relating to the Christmas tree again. Mm -hmm. And in which country in the Southern Hemisphere mm -hmm. Do people not use pine trees as Christmas trees, but rather a local tree? 
and it looks like well, this one. Well, all the tropical countries. Hey, wait, that looks like Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> Singapore is not in the southern hemisphere. With the ocean in the background, probably like Australia or New Zealand. <gasps> that is correct. It is New Zealand. Is New Zealand? Yes. Oh, they pretty. are using like a very special tree that's growing in New Zealand, which is called like, and I'm going to butcher this. It's the Pohutukawa. Pohutukawa. Yes. But this is massive. Would you have one in your living room? I don't think so. Any New Zealand New Zealanders? Any New, New Zealanders, Zealanders watching this, please <laughs> Let comment us know. below. Do you have your own or do you just gather at your neighborhoods? One of my favorite Christmas traditions that I've come across in my research because it is simply so absurd. What is it? This one is about the pooping log. The question is, in which European country do people feed a wooden log in order for it to poop out gifts on Christmas Day? What? I'm gonna say France because we haven't touched on France or Italy or Spain yet, so... Maybe France? France, yeah. France is close. Um, and you actually mentioned the country it's happening in. Italy. It's Spain. Spain! It's called Tio de Nadal. Oh, that looks cute. It does look cute. So they're really decorating it. They're feeding it with water and whatnot. Okay. So in order it can grow. And then they're it beating poops. it up. Wait, what? <laughs> they're beating it up. They're taking sticks and beating it up. Singing a song that says, if you don't poop out Christmas presents, we're beating you up with a stick. This is so ridiculous. It is a little weird. <laughs> and I mean, what do you do once you've beaten up the log? You probably throw it into the fire. It's it is little... extra, extra, extra macabre. It's a little crazy to hit a wooden thing with another wooden thing. All these traditions, they are so weird. There are so many of them and they're yeah. all kind of related, but still so yeah, different. Yeah, exactly. Last but not least, we are looking at Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. Or to be precise, a replacement and substitute for Santa Claus. With whom or what is Santa Claus replaced in the Italian tradition and fairy tale, La Befana? La Befana, like a... Like Beauty and the Beast sounds Befana, beauty. <laughs> um, it is more or less the opposite of a beauty. It's a beast. It is not the beast. Um, this tradition is about oh. witches. How do we get presents into every home? Witches. We use witches on brooms. And now think ahead, 50 years and... in the future, people will tell the tale of Amazon delivery drones. That's it. These have been the most fun and obscure ones that I could find. And yeah, you it's been did, really fun. You did very well. Yay! I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you know of any more weird Christmas traditions. Yeah. Um, Let us know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. And then we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks guys. Bye. Who the still does it? Does not know. It was okay. It was okay. Yeah. We did well. Santa Claus will become obsolete soon. Pew 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 pew. Gonna go with Finland. Ah, you're correct. Yeah.